రాష్ట్రంలో ఎన్నికల కోడ్ అమల్లోకి వచ్చినప్పటి నుంచి ఒక కోటి డెబ్బై ఆరు లక్షల నగదు మాత్రమే సీజ్ చేశామని ఇన్కమ్ ట్యాక్స్ డీజీ సంజయ్ బహదూర్ తెలిపారు పోలీసుల చెకింగ్ లో పట్టుబడిన డబ్బంతా స్వాధీనం చేసుకున్నట్లు కాదన్నారు పోలీసుల చెకింగ్ లో యాభై మూడు కోట్ల తొంభై ఆరు లక్షల నగదు పట్టుబడితే అందులో డాక్యుమెంట్స్ చూపించిన వారికి పది కోట్లకు పైగా డబ్బులు రిటర్న్ ఇచ్చామన్నారు మిగతా డబ్బులపై ఇన్వెస్టిగేషన్ కొనసాగుతుందన్నారు Telangana, 32 districts, we have deployed QRTs, quick response teams, which will be headed by district nodal officers. So I am being the nodal officer, there will be district nodal officer in all the districts. So they, along with our instructors of income tax, will form a team and they are already at, at respective district and monitoring the uh, expenditures uh, related, uh, related uh, issues with regard to the elections. Uh, this time, Election Commission of India, for the first time, has introduced an app called ESMS. election seizure management system so this is already in place uh, fst and sst are started using this app and we are also have onboarded along with our district nodal officers and myself as nodal officer and continuously we are monitoring any seizure happens at the ground level so by sst or fst they upload the information in that app which will quickly alert our team in the respective districts and quickly act on the verification process the entire movement of fund Uh, very often takes place even prior to those dates. So one of the things which the Honorable Commission has mandated is that Income Tax Department through the Investigation Directorate also uses its own intelligence which is in terms of human intelligence and in terms of digital intelligence and identify the vulnerable areas, the vulnerable corridors, whether it is individual, whether it is corporate or any other source. where any kind of a suspicious transaction uh, is flowing and then to investigate as per procedures laid down under the income tax act and take necessary action as permitted by law so this is a process which in fact we start much earlier because uh, if there is any kind of a large scale funding large scale movement of uh, of money which is taking place it takes place several weeks if not several months in advance so we have been alert to that and we have been uh, identifying those vulnerable areas 